Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, pines. What do you think, Miss Memphis? You gotta kick this foot forward a little bit, honey. That was one of the things she wanted us to work on. Was you standing with this foot a little bit more forward? She's like, nah, just walk, thanks. <laughs> uh, be careful. Jamie and I were talking about how the dogs managed to destroy the living room in a matter of minutes. And he said every day that I was gone, he would get up in the morning and he would vacuum and he would make everything look really nice in the living room in here. And then it would look like this. Like the dogs would just take everything out, destroy everything and put things everywhere. When I came out here a minute ago, that blanket was on the ground. Jamie folded it and put it back up. But uh, they've been feisty lately. Look at this. Just stuffing everywhere. This was all from last night while we was watching a hockey game, huh? Uh, yeah, we just... It's so fun though, Mom. It's so fun. We know. We know it's so fun. What's going on today? I don't know, but I think I got some cool things to show you guys that arrived while I was gone in California. So, uh, let's go check that out. Oh my goodness. So this is just one of the two things that showed up while I was gone. I mean, I guess this would be three things because this showed up as well. This is like a tug line for the dog so the dogs can pull a scooter. But I don't know if you guys remember, many, many years ago I had a Diggler scooter and I absolutely loved it. But I ended up getting rid of it because I didn't use it as much as I wanted to and yeah, some other reasons. I felt like it was just sitting around too much and I regretted it from that day on. So this is from Sprocket. Sprocket Dog Scooters. Sprocket Mobility. I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested. That is where this is from. It is from the same guy that made the Diggler Dog Scooters. And I think... Because it's so nice out, we might have to take this thing out and give it a try. Of course, Memphis can't pull with it, but it's so cool. Yeah, I think we might have to take it out and give it a try. Kira doesn't know how to do this. Yeah, Kira follows Memphis. Get him. Oh my God, she's doing it. Oh my God, she's doing it. Oh my, they figured it out. <laughs> I'm on them. I've done this. Officially, Eleanor's first time pulling anything in harness. She did it, huh? She did good. She did it. Um, and that was Kira's first time pulling without Memphis. Mm, I know, I cried, mm, but it's okay. It's okay. She did it. Right. Which means she learned enough from Memphis to know what she was doing. Yeah. Go get all the water. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, all the water. I'm going to steal it all. Get out my water. And Memphis is like, hi, I was napping because I went for a really long walk. Where did you go? She got a brace on. We're going for a little walk. So she can't pull the scooter. I mean, you guys know why of all the things she's been. She can't pull the scooter. So the plan right now is I'm gonna take her for her midday walk. We already did one of these, a short one earlier. But I'm gonna do a 20 minute walk right now. So hopefully she'll get a little tired. And then we're gonna take the other two dogs for a run while Memphis takes a nap. We're hoping that's what will happen. 
<laughs> is that where Georgie peed? He's like, my friend Georgie peed here. My phone's gone off because the other dogs are back at the house howling. Good girl, you got this. So one of the things we're watching for when Memphis walks, which of course she's gonna walk crooked, we want her back foot to land almost exactly where her front foot picks up when she's at this walking pace. This is like a standard gait pace. And if you look this side, she's way closer. On this side, she's still a little bit far. Like her, they're not laying, her back foot's not landing where it's supposed to. So that's one of the things we're working on. But one of the things about doing these walks three times a day and then going and doing the, uh, the physical therapy is that's gonna help her fix her gait. You can see when she walks, she's not as fluid as she used to be. But we still got time. We are only five weeks out from surgery. Everybody says she's doing amazing. So I think she's doing pretty good. She's doing this 20 minute walk. She's got a brace, she's doing her thing. Go! That's how we do it. You had some fun and now they had some fun. Sometimes that's just how we have to do it. And they literally are gonna drink all the water. <laughs> are you hot? Look at that, that's the happy face right there. Yeah, the happy face. I love it. Does that make you happy? The fact that you're back up on the couch with your sister. Does that just make you the happiest pupper in the world? You two are the snuggliest of snuggle dogs. I can tell it makes you happy. We're right here too. We're not letting her jump on and off the couch, but we have been putting her up on the couch. And then like Jamie and I, hi, hi, Miss Eleanor. She's like, mom, you has the plushies in your hand. And I would like to nibble on them. You wanna nibble on them? Yeah, nibble your plushies. Nibble, 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 nibble. Nibble, 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 nibble. <laughs> you goofy girl. Uh, which, reminder, plushies available, link in the bio. Anyway, what do you think of that run there, Kira? You ran so fast. She's like, guys, I was so fast. I was so fast. And you walked really good on your walk, which we do have to do another 15 minute walk before bed tonight. And you, girl, you don't even know. You don't even know, like you guys don't even know, I cried. I cried because you weren't next to her. I cried because you didn't get to teach her. And I cried because you did so amazing. And I cried because Memphis taught you how to do it. She handed it down to you and you finally figured it out. You actually listened when I told you to do the things. I'm proud of all of you. I'm proud of all you girls, I am. I am Memphis. Oh, you're so stinking cute. All right. Hi. Hello, blue brown eyed girl. The sun is hitting your eye. Hello. I, okay, that's, um, I don't think that, I don't think the audience wanted a bath, but uh, you got one. I have to clean the lens now because you just slobbered all over it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hi, pupper. We forgot to say goodnight last night, so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick right now. Well, the dogs are, they've been playing with this toy. This is the new favorite toy for these two, and they keep taking turns with it. <laughs> so we're gonna head, go ahead and call it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big, and we will see you again soon. What do you think about that, Kira? You like that? It's like, this is great. I'm gonna rip it to pieces. Eleanor did, Eleanor did all of the, let me see, let me show them. Eleanor did all the damage to it, and then Kira got it. <laughs> This is mine. All right. Good night, audience.